just a few months, he saved the lives of tens of thousands of Jews. He did so without the use of weapons. Instead, he was armed with Swedish passports that formally gave the Jews Swedish identity. It is high time to give Raoul Wallenberg the recognition his achievements deserve. Former Minister of Justice in Canada and Attorney General and a member of Parliament, he's really best known as an ambassador of freedom. Where are the Raoul Wallenbergs of today? And where are the Raoul Wallenberg governments of today? Wallenberg, the Jewish dog, that those who he was saving referred to him as the guardian angel. Certainly, when people were about to be deported on trains to the death camps, there was Wallenberg, not only saving those who were about to board the train, but actually handing out shift passes to those who already boarded the train and redeeming their lives. And it's his last rescue that may have been the most memorable one. And that was when the Nazis were marching on the Budapest ghetto. And Raoul Wallenberg again, in that mixture of bluster and defiance, but underlying it all, sheer moral courage, <coughs> told General Schmudhaber that if he were to march on the Budapest ghetto, then he would be held accountable for his crimes and he would be executed for those crimes. And so the Nazis and the General Schmudhaber retreated and 70,000 Jews in the Budapest ghetto were saved. I'm here because I'm the son of Holocaust survivors. I'm here because my father was born in Budapest. Because my father was one of the lucky ones. In the work of Thanks to Scandinavia, in its education, in its exchanges, in its teaching, we seek to keep alive the story of Roald Wallenberg, to spread it and to challenge all of us, to challenge all of us who believe we're impotent. And that, of course, becomes all the more important in the year 2012. Anti-Semitism has not been extinguished from the world, to the contrary at a time when the president of a member state of the United Nations, just a few blocks from here, comes each year to deny the Holocaust. And you can say, well, I can't be a Raoul Wallenberg. I think everybody has the capacity to be a Raoul Wallenberg. Each one of us can make a difference. It may be in terms of visiting the sick or comforting the afflicted. That's what human rights is all about. So may this evening be not only an act of remembrance, which it is, but may it also be, as Raoul Wallenberg would wish it to be, a remembrance to act individually and collectively, because there's no other choice.